Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I spent a lot of time and worked really hard on it. If you do like it, then please give it a big thumbs up and comment which one is your favorite and which one you'll get the most use out of. So the first DIY is perfect for Pentecostal girls or girls who just use a lot of bobby pins. So you're going to need some bobby pins, tic tacs, and metallic markers. I would recommend using paint because that would be so much better. Start off by emptying the tic tac container. So you can get rid of the mints, either eat them all or throw them away, it's really up to you. Um, I got these mints at a dollar store and it's surprising that they didn't, they didn't have original Tic Tacs so I had to deal with this weird shape. You're going to want to take off the sticker that's on top which can be very frustrating and so I looked up an easier way to take off all the stickers and the residue so what you're going to need is a small container with a spoon some baking soda and some type of oil. I use canola oil but I'm not really sure if you can use any other oil. It's really up to you. I'm pretty sure you can though. No specific measurements that you need. Just mix the baking soda and oil until you get a paste sort of like this. Now spread that on all over the sticker and make sure you get every corner. Leave it on for a couple of minutes and then you can scrub it off. Mine still had a little bit residue on it, but that's okay. I took my purple metallic marker and I drew polka dots on it. I don't really like how it came out, that's why I think paint would be so much better. Whether it's acrylic paint or you can actually use nail polish, that would work even better. You can also decorate it by using these new decorative tape. I got these at the dollar store, but you can find them at any craft store. And these are how they came out. I really like the one with the tape better. These are just ideas. You don't have to do the exact same thing. I'm pretty sure yours will come out even better. But this is just a great way to store your bobby pins and that way you don't have to lose them as much. <laughs> this is called a book safe. It looks like a real book but you're actually using it as storage and putting stuff inside. For this DIY, you're going to need a hardcover book. I got this one from the dollar store. Make sure it's thick enough to put your item inside. Some decorative paper. I use this cute wrapping paper I got also from the dollar store. A ruler. An X-Acto knife. A pencil. Some Mod Podge and a thick or thin paintbrush. Start off by taking off the cover of the book that you chose. Now take your pencil and your ruler and you're going to want to draw a border or just a rectangle but make sure the lines are even and all the borders are the same size. And these lines will be your guidelines on where to cut. Once you have your border, start cutting with your X-Acto knife. And I know I have some young viewers, so please ask your parents for permission before using any sharp object. Once you're satisfied with how much you've cut, make sure the item you're going to put inside fits in the hole that you've made. And once it does, it's time to glue everything together. To make the inside edges a little bit more clean and finished, run your X-Acto knife along the edges just to cut off the little pieces that are sticking out. Now since I was rushing, there are some pieces of paper that ripped, so I'm just going to make sure that they're all in place and they're all together, so that way when I glue it, it won't be out of place. <laughs> 
Take your Mod Podge and your paintbrush and start gluing the pages together. You can start either on the inside edges or the outside edges, doesn't really matter as long as they're all stuck together and make sure you don't put a lot because then the pages will wrinkle because they'll be so moist. So yeah, that's basically this next step. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to want to put a couple of coats of glue just to make sure that they're all stuck together. Oh, and I forgot to mention that wax paper really helps to divide the pages from the cover. That way the book won't be glued shut. It helps to put something heavy on top just to make sure it glues flat. And just repeat this step until you're really satisfied with how everything looks. Oh look, a small brush, finally. <laughs> Once everything is glued together, it should probably look like this. If you've ever covered a book for school before, then this next step would be very easy for you. If not, then it's pretty easy. All you have to do is make sure the outside cover of the book is covered with some sort of fabric or paper like I'm doing right here. It helps if you use a ruler too, but I didn't think of that. But um, I just kind of estimated where it would end and everything, so I mean, it came out okay, I guess. <laughs> Once that is finished, it should look something like this. Make sure your object fits, and since I'm using mine as a cell phone charger holder, I'm just going to cut out a little slit to put my charger cable. Now this next step is completely optional, but I wanted to add a little bit more girly and color touch to it. So I got the ends of these Victoria's Secret bag, and I'm just going to cut the gold circles and use the handles to tie the book together. What I'm going to do here is just take my X-Acto knife and cut a hole in the front and back covers of the book. That's where you'll glue the gold circle and put the handle through. You can use any type of glue, but I use hot glue just because it dries a lot faster. To put the handle through, I twisted the end of it and tried to put it in the hole. It's a lot easier if you take your knife, not knife, scissors and grab the string through it. Alright, so put your item in and once you've got both handles through the holes, you can tie it and make a cute little bow and it will be so girly and cute. Watches are really in right now and I myself have a couple. So this is perfect for those of you who just don't know where to put or display your watches. And this is really easy and it comes out really cute. So hope you guys like this one. For this DIY, you're going to need an empty paper towel roll, some sturdy bases, I use a case that my watch came in and a case that an iPhone came in, some dowels you can get at any craft store, some vinyl, I got this at the dollar store, it's like for kitchen drawers or something like that, some decorative paper, an X-Acto knife, hot glue gun, and some decorative tape. Since the box my watch came in is already cute and decorative, I'm going to use that one as my own, but if you don't have something like that, then you can completely use the other idea that I have, or just find something cute and cheap, like go to the dollar store, I'm sure they have a lot of stuff. For this one, I use a case where the iPhones come in, and anything like that works fine too. And like I said before, you can find these cute tapes at the dollar store or any craft store.
Alright, so decorating this is pretty easy. Make sure you glue down all the tape that doesn't stick and you're pretty much done with this. So for the next base, I'm going to measure the bottom of the dowel. That way I can cut the exact same shape through the box and since it's cardboard, it would be really easy. So when I put the dowel through the box, I marked where it first stood out so that way I know how much of the paper I needed to cover it. So just glue the paper to the dowel and then you kind of just roll it and keep gluing it and then keep repeating this process and the dowel will eventually be all covered. After I finished gluing the paper, I stuck it in the hole so that way I knew that it was the right size and I did it correctly. And if you're going to use something like this, just put some hot glue and put the dowel on and you're good to go. For covering the paper towel roll, I just took this fabric and pretty much did the same thing I did to the dowel. Yes, it is a vinyl top liner and that is used for kitchen drawers and stuff like that. And yeah, I just did the same process. I glued it and just kept rolling it. To tuck it into the roll, I just folded it over and taped it down. And it looks really good. Here I did the same thing I did to the box. I measured about halfway of the paper towel roll for the dowel that I'm going to be putting inside just to make sure it balances well. So once that is done, I just put it through and to see how it was, it was still a little wobbly so I put some hot glue just to hold it all together. And you are now all done. You have your own personal watch holder. Well, if you made it to the end of the video, then you the real MVP because this video was so long. But if you liked it, please like it and comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!